Hi, this is Christian of Firefly Dragon, and thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be talking about Superman, one of the strongest characters in fiction. He has a strength to leap uh, buildings in a single bound, carry planets, and lift infinity. And we are constantly awed by his ability to transfer the solar energy into great feats of strength. But I want to look into this. Uh, not today about how he transfers it, maybe another day, but today I want to look into, with the knowledge that uh, he absorbs the energy, uh, how much sunlight has Superman absorbed and how much uh, potential energy would that be able to give Superman? Well, to help you understand how I came to the conclusion that I did, I uh, set up a few rules and I want you to be aware of them. The first is that the sunlight that reaches Earth's surface is of one kilowatt hour of energy. Second, that his clothes do not hinder the absorption of light. Third, that since there is reflection, as long as Superman is outside in daylight on Earth, we can assume that uh, all of his body, all of his surface area is absorbing light. Uh, we will also assume that since he's active, a journalist, grew up on a farm, and a lot of other reasons, that he can get, uh, will average his uh, daylight to 12 hours a day. We will also assume he is 29 years old, and that uh, he does eat food, but since it's not necessary, we'll actually just say that the food he eats covers his day-to-day -day, uh, living energy needs, so that all the solar energy he absorbs goes to powering his superpowers. Lastly, one of, uh, I also have the rule that he is an advanced race, and with that in consideration, we're going to say that Superman, due to natural selection and genetic engineering, he will be able to convert 100% of the solar energy absorbed into potential energy. Essentially, he doesn't consume any energy in the converting process. Now, I also wanted to touch up, since I'm not aware of how long he spent at other stars, near or in other stars he can absorb energy from. We're going to simplify the calculation and overestimate his life's average surface area. And instead of him being an infant and growing, we're going to assume across his whole life what he was his approximate adult surface area. Uh, lastly, before we finish getting into things, I wanted to mention that Superman is quoted to be as strong as he needs to be, which he does randomly. Uh, I don't believe he does extra sunbathing for these, but he does pick up infinity, carry eternity, and stuff like that. But uh, he's often all also able to be hurt by relatively weak foes, such as Solomon Grundy, who is strong, but just not like planet busting. So we're going to give Superman's uh, average day-to-day -day strength, planet busting, and see if he absorbs enough energy from the sun to match that. So getting into things, uh, the to figure out Superman's uh, surface area, I've looked up on Google. Uh, Google says that the average American male is about 177 centimeters tall, 5 foot 10 and that they have a surface area of 1.9 meters squared. Since Superman is taller at 192 centimeters, or 6 foot 3, and has a bigger build, we can easily estimate Superman as having uh, 2 meters squared of surface area. Also knowing that per meter squared, uh, he would be absorbing 1 kilowatt hour of energy. Every hour, we can assume he is absorbing 2,000 watts of energy. Now, I've connected a, in the description a calculator that I used to help me with the calculation. It does watts over seconds equals joules. And so I put in the numbers 2,000 watts for an hour, uh, 3,600 seconds, and it brought up 7.2 times 10 to the sixth joules of energy. So what is that? Well, to put context on that, a joule is enough energy to move 100 grams one meter. And the average American male, at about 8.977 times 10 to the fourth grams, Superman would be able to throw them approximately 8 kilometers once an hour. Calculation. So, Let's see how much energy Superman's absorbed uh, in his whole life to see if he comes to the planet-busting energy levels. Uh, the calculation is going to be his hourly 
energy absorption rate at 7.2 times 10 to the 6th joules times how many hours a day he gets sunlight, 12, times the 365 days a year times 29 years. And that calculation comes to about 9.14544 times 10 to the 11th power. So does Superman have the strength to destroy a planet? No. To destroy an Earth-like planet, to break it into pieces and throw those pieces with enough force to escape Earth's gravity, it would take 2.25 times 10 to the 32nd power. Overwhelmingly more than Superman has been able to absorb in his life. And I'm overestimating what sort of Superman would likely have uh, uh, absorbed because how is he going to convert 100% of it into 100% uh, of the solar energy into potential energy? How do the, clo the clothes reflect? We see colors, so we know they are reflecting lights and would hinder his absorption. We also know that uh, he would likely spend more time in stores, especially as a kid. And the clincher, Superman, across his whole life, wouldn't have, especially if he ever used his power, because my calculation here isn't including him using his powers at all, but Superman across his whole life, especially with using powers, wouldn't have even uh, absorbed enough energy to fly himself to the sun. Superman wouldn't have been able to get to the closest bo heavenly body where he could uh, directly absorb light from to supercharge himself with all the energies he's absorbed in his 29 years. Now, Superman is still a fun character. However, it's just not possible for him to be powered only by sunlight. As a final thought, because of natural selection, Superman should be fat. Big and large and proud, but fat. Now, this isn't a joke. Superman, if he was larger, uh, like fat, then he would uh, have more surface area and therefore he would absorb more sunlight. With an estimation of Superman having three meters squared of surface area instead of just two, instead of 7.2 times 10 to the sixth power, he gets a, he gets a whole, uh, you know, uh, extra th about third of that, having 1.08 times 10 to the seventh joules of power absorbed every hour. And so his lifetime total would be closer to 1.37816 times 10 to the 12th power. Okay, that's almost 10 times as strong. So due to natural selection, the earlier early Kryptonians, uh, the bigger, the stronger, more likely to survive. So Superman's race should be fat. But for today, we'll... And uh, t maybe someday I will uh, do a theory about how Superman should actually be the size of a moon. But for today, we'll leave it as Superman uh, can't be as strong as he's shown to be, how he's shown to gather his power. That's the theory. This is Christian with Firefly Dragon, signing out.